everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Easter. And as you can see the snow has gone and everything is back to normal. Um, all the figures and vehicles are back and um, yeah it was a bit of a, a major clean up to get rid of all the caster sugar. Uh, it seemed to have got stuck in the curb corners there when I was hoovering up but uh, it was fun to do the grandkids have seen it and they all loved it so and I think it's what was needed I think and if you haven't seen it maybe it's worth saving it for Christmas Eve now then cleaning up I did have a little bit of a damage um, the bus stop over there that got broken but luckily it just sort of came out of the hole and it just goes back in to the hole and it just sits there so I might just leave that loose just in case I ever decide to do that again but who knows maybe Right, now that we've um, had a little bit of fun, it's time to get back to the serious business of building the station. So before we get back to the build, I um, just want to show you a couple of things. Um, this you had a brief glimpse of in the last video. This is going to be the high street. Now these buildings are Kibri buildings and I'm going to actually take them apart at some point and then rebuild them and um, add more shop frontage windows. So that is one of the plans and that will become a big pub in the corner. And this is situated just at the entrance of the main station as you can see. So I just thought I'd quickly show you that. It's uh, one of the future projects and uh, I'll do this street at the same time as I'll be doing the um, dairy on the other side of the bridge. So all this road all the way through to here through to the garage and the new little baseboard in here will all be done at the same time. So that's that's quite a big big little project as it were. <laughs> right so that's one thing I wanted to show you. Now the other thing is I had a question from one of you guys a couple of weeks ago about the um, fiddle yard underneath South Shield Station and whether it's in use or not. Um, it's not an easy place to get in and fill in, but as you can see, it is in use. Um, I do pull the trains in and out of it now and again. Um, it is fully working. Um, it's just that you, you don't get to see it as much. Um, try and get in there so you can have a proper look. But yeah. Uh, as you can see, it's a 10 road um, fiddle yard. Um, it's a dead end yard. So when it reaches these markers, the engines uncouple at these markers and um, move back. to that 12 inch end of the line. So this is where we left off. Um, nothing's been done for a couple of weeks so we're going to continue with this canopy and um, glue that down and add the windows and get it painted. Here we are, we're back at my favourite place, at the bench, where it all happens. So, we've got our 
main roof here and basically what we're doing now we're getting some one by one mil um, plastic strip I'm just going to put it inside all the way around so it's just a case of marking all the pieces cutting them and then gluing them in and once that's done we can then glue in the cross pieces like I've marked here I've marked the positions for the down pieces and then I'll just put one strip across the middle and it'll look like the windows on the canopy so for fixing the plastic strip to the card I'm using super glue I'll put a little bit of super glue on the card um, but one thing I'll be wary about is the card is so absorbent with the super glue and that's why it's good for um, sanding and, and things like that so I just put a little bit excessive with this super glue I think just to make sure it um, sticks and stays wet by the time I get the plastic strip in there because it does want to fall out try and fall out again see so I just hold it in there until it goes off obviously once the edges or the edge frames are in um, you can use polyurethane cement for gluing in the struts. So, so as you can see I've done one of the main um, windows. Um, all I've done here is I've put a thinner strip right across the top of all of the windows there and it's um, 0.25 by 0.75 um, polystyrene strip. Um, and I think that looks quite good. It'll look even better once it's painted and um, and weathered. So I've just got the other two to do. So as you can see, I've finished all the windows off, and I've added a couple of bits of extra plastic card, 0.25 by 75, same as what I've used across the windows, just to add a little bit extra detail. Now then. Now that this is done, it's almost ready to go onto the canopy here. But I won't put it on just yet because I want to paint the window frames first. And then, then I can glue it on. And also I want to paint the woodwork in here that's actually supporting the canopy. So before I start any painting, there's just one more little detail I want to add to the, this um, canopy framework. And it's down to one of you guys telling me about uh, Morpeth Good Shed, which is up in the northeast. It's still in existence today. Um, it's a lovely old good shed. It's, uh, it's made out of stone. And um, this is what I had seen on that good shed. A little tiny corner support. So I thought I'd add them to this one. So I've stuck one there and I've stuck another one there. So now I'm ready to paint this. So I'm going to paint all the framework white and then I'm going to paint this little bit around here in a maroon red and uh, we shall see what it looks like. Right, so the painting's finished, um, so the windows are done. Uh, also, the white on the actual canopy is done as well. The actual fascia, I've painted that. And I've also painted the red um, plinth that goes around the top as well. So the next thing to do is to glue these two sections together. So with the, the glazed roof attached to the canopy now, I'm just applying the lead flashing. Now the lead flashing, you've probably seen me do this loads of times before. It's just paper folded and then dipped in some PVA wood glue. Let's hope it takes this time. The trick is, is to 
cover the joint just like lead flashing does and then sometimes in this little places it doesn't take well, it doesn't want to play so I just need to try and push it It's not an easy task, but um, once it's painted, uh, it does look quite realistic. The lid flashing now finishes off uh, the assembly process of this canopy. Uh, in some places I've had to put two layers of paper on because of the gaps. Sometimes you put it on and it'll fall into the gaps, or so what I do is I just put another piece over the top. So I've just got to let that dry now, and um, then I'll be ready for painting. While we've been waiting for the paint and the glue to dry on the canopy, I've been making some of these um, roof supports, which are going to go between the outer wall and the column. Let me show you where they're going to go. And this is how the supports look um, in situ. And as you can see I've got two little holes on each one of these supports. The idea is there is to feed some copper wire through there and use that to pick up the feeds for the LEDs for each and every one of these compartments. So that's the plan now is to glue these in um, and glue some in on this side as well but they might be made to measure because they're various widths from here to there as the columns curve I thought we'd just have a quick look at this right um, this is just giving you an idea of what you could do with a canopy like this. Um, as you can see, there's just enough height there, and it seems to be the right height, to put in a track bed if you wanted to, with there being 18mm off the floor. And I'm not sure what that is, I can't quite remember. But I I can get a rule and we'll have a quick measure. So we have a rule in place and to the underside of the canopy is roughly about 55 millimeters flat on, that is if you look at it flat on. So that's just an idea what you could do with the canopy that I've just made. But um, that's not staying there, no, no it's just to, to give you guys an idea if you ever decided that you wanted to make a good shed. Right, as you can see we've moved on a little bit. I've um, painted the roof of the canopy now. Um, the dark grey like we used over on the canopy over there, so it's the same colour um, but the only difference being I haven't added the green mould yet. And I've also painted the lead flashing that goes around the top there. Now I'm going to darken that down a bit, it looks too shiny. Um, same with the with the roof there, it looks too squeaky clean, it needs dirtying up a little bit. Now the thing that uh, sticks out the most is uh, the scoring with the pen has, has come through the white paint and it looks like um, timber slats. So that's, that's really worked well. Right, and also I have been adding some of these um, supports for the roof. I've stuck one in there and I've stuck one in here as well. 
Um, I've painted them yellow um, because you can't actually see them. They're the same colour um, of yellow that I used on the, the framework there inside the canopy because you can't actually see the actual timbers from the platform side. So as you can see there, you can just about make it out. So and it was better to have some sort of colour there rather than just have cardboard. But I'll probably weather them down as well a little bit. They look too bright. So with the paint dry I can um, add the glazing now, that will finish that off. And then the next bit to do is to do the little platform um, which comes out from the doorways there. So I'm going to concentrate on that. So I've made a sketch of uh, the little platform that's coming out from the platform, if that makes sense, underneath the canopy. I'm going to come out 28mm to the front edge. It's 186mm wide and obviously it's going to be about 16mm high for the minute until I put the 2mm card on top and then I'll have a 1mm edge round. Something similar to what I've done on the platforms already so it um, looks more or less the same. So it's just a case of gluing all these little bits on. So as you can see, it's, it's quite a narrow platform. So the next thing I'll do is just glue these three pieces in, which will go flush to the outside edges. Hopefully it'll keep it all nice and square. So the next thing to do is add the small pieces that go in between here and here, um, which will give it something to glue onto for the main wall. These pieces are just 14 millimeters wide. Just give it a little squeeze. Make sure I've got my four millimeters in there. So now that those pieces in, just got to check across the back to make sure it's still 186 across the back so it's the same as the front which looks about right at the moment well, as you can see I've just placed it in situ and you can see a little gap there between the platform and the top of this structure here it's roughly about two millimeters just enough room there for the car and that just fits in there nice and snug and uh, I've also marked down the edge there with a pencil so I know where to start the stonework that's going to go around the whole um, platform as it were. So as you can see I've added the stone wall in around the edge of this little platform. Now just thinking about it, this is exactly the same height as a platform on my layout, so it's 
once it's finished with the two millimeters on the top this will be ideal if you wanted to make a platform for your station for instance you could make it with card um, cut and card width at 16 millimeters and then you can make it to whatever you want especially with the um, using that rocket card glue because it's very flexible you can bend it if you want it to anyway it's just an idea so now I've got the stone wall on the next thing I want to do is just put a little capping edge near the top like so because once that's glued on and then painted um, in the sandstone colour um, that will look quite neat I think so I'll glue this on as you can see I have added a top to the platform and it just overhangs by a millimetre all the way around just to give it a little bit more detail and I've just gently taken the corners off so what I might do later is add a little tiny bit of super glue on there and just give it a little bit of a rounded edge and uh, as you can see there I have notched it so it goes up against the wall um, that was uh, pre-made earlier so let's have another look now you can see with the wall there um, at the back there it's got two um, supports that go all the way down to the floor there so this is where it's been notched out so it just fits in there snugly and then once that's glued um, that will set the two walls up and the middle section are ready for gluing And what I probably will do, I'll probably add up some um, some steps there, just so they can guys can go up and down onto the platform, onto the ground level. So it's just a case of um, painting that now and um, adding some stones to go around the edges there, just like we have on the platform, but not as big. Something similar to those. As you can see, I've painted the platform top to match the platform colour on the layout. Um, it's a little bit darker at the moment because it's still a bit damp. So hopefully, when that dries, it'll dry a little bit lighter. And I've also added some paper, but just scribed with a pen, roughly about five mil meter squares and that will be painted in a sandstony colour so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to paint um, that and we'll see how we get on and then once that's done um, we can maybe start looking into doing the railings that are going to go across there there and back across there just to stop passengers I'm walking to the goods loading bay area. So as you can see I've painted the sandstones um, with a matte yellow and hopefully once that's dried I can then tone it down. It still looks a bit bright but um, once that's toned down and weathered that'll be fine. Um, another thing I've decided to do is add some steps to go on the side like that. Um, these are HO scale steps. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make some legs as well to give that extra su extra support. So I'll glue them on there like that, and then add some more framework all the way around, um, just to give it extra purchase when it's glued to the side to the platform. Well, that didn't take long. Oh, what I've done, I just made a little frame for the steps to sit on here uh, once that's dried i'll be able to super glue that to the side of the platform and then just uh, slightly weather it a little bit now the color i use for that is a matte 94. so moving on a little bit i've made up some railings and gates which will go between the columns right opposite the entrances 
onto the little platform here. So this one is a double gate and I've used some um, plastic strip 2mm by 1mm thick. I've left a little gap there that's just to go over the um, the brick plinth. You'll see when we um, come to glue these on and some more plastic strip there, some rod and uh, if you look closely it looks like a little padlock there across the gates all, it, all that is is one of these where I've trimmed these to fit the dimensions between the columns I've just cut one of these little tiny circles down which are on, on these just to make a padlock So that's that's them. So there's three of them, and obviously they've got the the drop bar for locking it into the concrete uh, on the platform. So we'll paint these up, and then we'll see what they look like in between the columns. So as you can see, all the gates are now in place, and uh, they don't look too bad. Um, what I did there is where the post was I just scored it down the center so it looks like there's two gates and I've done the same with this one here and all I've done here I've just took two um, railings together side by side so it looks like there's another pair of gates there so that's a single gate and that's a double gate and that's another single gate. And here's a view from the other side. As you can see, you can see all the, the draw bars and the locks in situ. So what will happen here now is I'll probably get some black railings and put some black railings there cross there in between those two posts and then bring them back again towards the wall this way towards us and do the same here from but from this edge so this becomes some sort of loading bay and and goods area right we've done quite a bit this week what with the painting of the roof and the windows and making up a little platform and a set of steps to go beside the platform um, hopefully next week all this will be glued in place and then we can start concentrating on putting in the rest of the supports for the main roof on this side of the building and hopefully get this side somewhere near finished so I think that's all from me this week um, Thank you again for your comments and your support for this year. Um, there might be a chance for one more video before Christmas. Um, we'll just have to wait and see on that. But until then, stay safe and um, enjoy your hobby. And I hope you've um, learned a few tips from this video. Okay now, thanks for now. Bye everybody. Bye.